Welcome to Hangar 37. My name is John, and tonight I'm going to do the unboxing of the Boeing Stearman PT-17 made by FMS. I'm excited about this model, and I look forward to the unboxing and the assembly on this. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to take a moment to reposition the camera, and we'll get going. Okay, I'm back, and I'm here with the FMS PT-17 Stearman. I'm going to go ahead and start the unboxing. One of the things I noticed right off the bat when I opened it up, none of the uh, components are in plastic which is unusual for an FMS plane. Okay, we're going to start off right away with the fuselage. And it looks in fairly good shape. Okay, even. See the instrument panels. It's got a clip hatch, plastic clip hatch, instead of magnets. Seems to work fine. No scratches or dents. Looks in pretty good shape. It's got a 580 kV motor. Landing gear looks nice. Nice wheels. Looking good. These are made out of all plastic and steel rod, of course. Yeah, let's see. I believe this is the bottom wing. Little foam balls. Again, no scratches, dents. Decals are nice. And we got the top wing, a lot of little foam balls. They have lights for this plane, but apparently you have to install them, which is not too bad to do. I've got the Waco, FMS Waco, and I had to do it on there. It wasn't too bad. Just a little extra work. Looks good though. A lot of detail. A lot of detail in the lines of the plane. Yeah, I got a little abrasion on the, one of the wing ends. Not too bad though. Okay, this is a two-piece elevator. Horizontal stabilizer. They must just glue together in there without a uh, spar. We'll check that out though. The, uh, the vertical stab rudder is attached, pre-attached. Now some of the videos I watched, yeah, it's real weak. 
Hopefully I can get this on the camera. You can see it's just about ready to rip off. I saw some videos on here how to fix that. I think I'm just going to try some uh, hinge tape on there to start with and see how that holds up for the bottom wing. And finally, I think they give you a, a tube of cement, probably for the ta tail section, for the uh, elevator. And finally, the props. This is the same prop that's used on a Waco. I bought an extra one. Crashed my Waco a couple times and never broke the prop. They're pretty sturdy. So all in all, for the money, it's a pretty decent plane. Okay, do a quick walk around here. Give you a little better close up. They have pilots for this and I had opened this earlier so I did a little work and redid them with the goggles. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll put some scarves on them also. You can't fly these pilots without scarves. They all had sweethearts that uh, gave them scarves to wear for safety for safety and good luck actually it's a pretty nice looking plane I think it's going to look pretty awesome there you go PT-17 Stearman so once again this is John from Hangar 37 signing off Thanking all you pilots for watching. Wishing you all blue skies and calm winds.